All right. Armageddon update. We didn't do our shit. So, uh, I do want to say thank you, Mark, Jesse, Thunder Valley for putting on the event, inviting us back out to come, um, taking care of us while we were there, the whole nine yards. Uh, they, they, I will say that we took, we, well, let me back up for a minute. Also, let me clarify this here at the front for part of the video so everybody hears it. To the, the person that was up there bumping his cocksucker up on the line, on the starting line, talking about, uh, made the comment, fastest 60 foot, 60 foot turbo car, ha, ha, ha. I didn't say the fastest first off. I said it is one of the fastest, and that car does go high 70s, 970s, low 980s in the 60 foot. It goes 260s to the 330 on the surfaces that we've been testing it on trying to get it ready for MPK. That being said, the person that thought that was funny made fun of the fact that the car was shaking the tires. When you're tired of putting your fucking car out as a car show car, come grab you some. Come get you some. We'll go on the fucking street. We'll go to the track, whatever. Come get you some. Don't run your fucking mile. Come face to face with me and say what you got to say. You know who you are. You know my number. You know it well. So, now I got that out of the way. Um... We went to Armageddon. We've been working the last two and a half months on this car, trying to get it fast in a short time. Because turbo cars, not really well known for being fast in the 60 or the 330. They make all their power out back. Well, there's absolutely no way we stand a chance at MPK if we go out there with a turbo car that goes 102 or, or 103, 104, 60 foot because the screw cars, nitrous cars, pro charger cars gonna have us so bad b before the 330 and you can't apply enough power to come back around them. So that's all we've been working on. We've been busting our ass, testing three, four, five times a week, um, trying different things and, and we got a handle on it under, that, under those conditions in that situation. When we went to Armageddon, well, we, we, let, we jumped out there to a real fucking no prep situation and everything that we've done to the car is just the opposite of what we need to do now i wish i ran that race last year with that car when we had it to where it was going down a shitty surface and it was 102 103 but it was doing it on a bad surface and that's where i changed everything up with the car this time is i started testing the car on better tracks stickier tracks tighter tracks because mpk even though they don't prep it so it is still a no prep. Uh, they're better tracks. They're better tracks to start out with. They're tracks that have been, you know, NHRE tracks and tracks that are that are really good to begin with, no matter what you do to them. And we took a car that wasn't set up to to, to do a true one hundred percent no prep surface. And when we went into round one, we it, it was basically after the two. You know, the, the, the test passed the, the night before. It shook the tires. We changed a few things. Went out there. It, it shook the tires a little bit, but I pedaled it a couple times and stuck it again, and it ran good out back. So I thought going into the race that we were going to struggle for round one, and we did. I had to drive the fuck out of the car, pedal it five or six times, trying to get it down the racetrack. It was ugly. It was ugly. But we got the win, we moved on to second round. When, at, at, after all the first round stuff, when they scraped the track again, so Brian, we're fucked. Because our only chance at doing well at that was to try to get past round one and then the track come around and start getting better and better to where we could put the car and apply power to it and, and put it back in the conditions like we've been testing the car in. That wasn't the case. And I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, even though it was great to go back out there and be a part of Armageddon again, and I'm glad Mark and I had our long talk, buried the hatchet between us, and uh, I'm, I'm still glad we went. But I couldn't turn around and reset the entire car and put it back where it was and take a chance on putting it out in left field before we go to MPK. So... 
I said I would be there. I was there. Um, we, we didn't do so well, but we were there. And we raced. Then pop my car up on fuck the Projack. Call Car Crafter Hot Rod. Try to get him to come out and take pictures of it. We raced the car. I had fun. No matter what, I had fun. And the guy we lost second round to, hell, I, he, he's a real good friend, Rusty Beavers, great guy. Uh, first guy that I raced in the in the Corvette, great guys. So, I mean, there was still there was a lot of great races there. There was a lot of great racing going on. And once again, you know, Mark and Jesse and, and Thunder Valley and everybody did a great job out there. Um, we're going to definitely have to for next year. And, yes, we'll be there next year. Either bring a different car or bring a small tire car. Do I have a small tire car that I've had set back? I think it's time for me to bring that small tire car out. But for right now, I'm going to concentrate on the Sprint, the Gold car, and put my Nova back together to where I can uh, uh, send it out, get everything mocked up, or actually get the car all running to where it can be blown back apart to be painted because I am definitely retiring my Nova as ra at, at racing it. I'm just going to put it back as a nice... Nice car that, that I could play with and have fun. And me and Brantley go back to eating ice cream, going to get an ice cream in it. So I've got a phone call into somebody today, and I'm going to see if they have the time. There's a couple things we need to fix on that car. I'm going to move some weight around, get some weight out of it. And if, if he has the time and can do it, I'm sending the car out there to him because, be honest with you, I'm tired of working on that fucking car. That thing has beat my balls trapezoidal. And I need a break from it anyway. And he does really great fucking work.